Hi everyone, it's Matt here. Uh, as you can probably tell, I'm recording this in voiceover in post because due to a little recording snafu, I accidentally lost my audio for this. So this should be interesting. It's the first time I've had to do it like this. So yes, today we're looking at Solar Storm from Dranda Games uh, from Aiden Lather, a designer local to me and someone I've interviewed in the past on the podcast. Solar Storm is a cooperative game uh, where you have to work together to repair uh, a spaceship that's hurling towards the sun, effectively. Uh, kind of like uh, the Forbidden Island, Forbidden Desert, that sort of thing. Uh, the game is for ages 10 and up, takes around 45 minutes to play, and is for one to four players. So I have play tested this game in the past, but I'm quite excited to see what the final version of the game looks like. So let's have a quick look at the Kickstarter video. In the treacherous red zone, you and your crew fight to survive the solar storm. The energy core of your vessel has lost power and the major systems have been severely damaged, leaving the ship powerless and everyone on board in dire peril. The entire crew must work together to restart the energy core if there is any chance of survival. Succeed and you will live. Fail and you will all perish in the scorching abyss. Work together or die alone in this cooperative survival game for one to four players that will make even the most hardened crews and solo players swelter. Okay, so before I cracked open the box, I was quite impressed by the nice uh, sort of, I think it's spot UV coating on the ship itself. It looks really nice and yeah, you can see reflections of my recording equipment. But uh, hopefully that gives you a nice sort of indication of what the, the box is like. Uh, inside we've got obviously a rule book. Um, there is, I believe, an updated version on BGG. Uh, let me just have a look while I'm recording this, uh, which has uh, got a few typos and things uh, corrected in there. But yes, uh, so a nice little uh, synopsis of the plot at the front here. So inside the rule book we've got information about the components, uh, setup guide, uh, how to adjust the game for different difficulty levels, you can adjust the number of cards of a certain type in the deck to make the game easier or harder for yourself. Uh, I like the fact that the most difficult difficulty level is called Realist. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, yeah, information about the various game mechanics, example setup guide, uh, just a basic how to play, information about some of the additional cards that come as part of the Kickstarter and expansions. So you've got additional rooms, uh, the escape pod variant, which I'm just looking at there. Um, so yeah, that's the, the rule book. It's pretty pretty simple and straightforward. Then what else we got? We got cards, obviously. Uh, little, uh, well, a green small D6. Uh, some energy tokens, they are. Little orange cubes. And Spaceman meeples. Uh, these are pretty cool. I'll take a bit, bit of a closer look at those a bit later. And all the rest of the uh, components there which you have to punch out. So if I just bring the uh, list up, you've got uh, protection tokens, power tokens, things like that. So I think I look at the cards here. Oh yes, there, there's some extra room cards that come, uh, not just the base set. So there's there's nine room cards that come in the game, but there are eight additional room cards in the deluxe edition, which is what I've got, which you can use to replace the ones that come in the box. So as you can see, there's two sets of, for example, the armory. I've got two of them there. So when I opened this, I was a little bit confused and trying to figure this out. But uh, yeah, I got there in the end. Look, there you go. Two armory cards. Lovely. So yeah, same design on the back. So you can just mix and match which ones you want. Obviously, I don't think you'd want two armories. For example, you'd replace one with another. But if you wanted to play with the uh, the variant cards, they're there and you're able to do so. So next up you've got all of the uh, various types of resource that you've got in the game. So 68 resource cards it says. So we've got data, metal, nanobots, energy and universal cards. So the universal cards are the ones that you put in to uh, adjust the difficulty level in the game. So, oh no these aren't, the, these aren't those, these are the damage cards. So these are uh, 24 of those. So they let you, uh, they tell you what rooms take damage in the game. Uh, oh, you've got, yes, a nice lovely card there. If you want to take a picture of your successful 
uh, voyage on social media you've got a little card you can use to do that there that's the escape pod card for one of the the, the variants so what else have we got yes these are the play raid cards telling you what to do and next up we've got these so these are the protection cards and the resources so yeah those are the universal ones so they're the ones that let you uh, they act as any type of uh, resource and as you can see here you've got the four the four different types so the blue ones are data the red ones are metal purple ones are nanobots and the green ones are energy and uh, yeah the game will tell you what uh, rooms take damage so if you you're used to using forbidden island you know where you it shows you which uh, part of the island will sink or get flooded it's the same sort of mechanism as that and uh, yeah those are the cards uh, those are the little tokens that show you uh, how much damage they've taken I believe uh, you use the little orange cubes to um, power up to provide power to the room so if a room is uh, damaged it loses power ah here you go here's the little uh, nice little spaceman meeples they were they're pretty cool I've got to say I don't think I've ever seen any quite like that before I think the uh, the yellow one looks like he's about to start uh, disco dancing but maybe that's just me <laughs> about to start a bit of Saturday night fever but uh, but yeah they're they're cool little guys I like them a lot very well designed so uh, oh well no, one of them's taking a bit of a, a bit of a space walk there he's taking a, a bit to escape so yeah, that's, uh, that's a quick look at the components you get. Oh yes, the obligatory pack of silica gel. Don't eat that. So yeah, Solar Storm by Dranda Games. So I'll put links to the website and the BGG page in the video description. But that's uh, a quick look at all the components inside the game. So thanks everyone for watching this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.